Hi viewers, I filmed out here yesterday, made a right pig's ear of it. So, I'm filming it again today. Because, I must try harder. And not waffle through as well. Um, on a different note, my seed pod has failed. It's now shriveled. And it's squishy. Instead of being pumped up and full, which is very bizarre because I haven't let the plant dry out. I don't know. I've never done it before, so I have to speak to the chap who was going to um, ask it for me on Friday when we see him at Bournemouth um, he might be able to show me tell me why I'll take a picture of it because I don't want to take the plant in just in case it might plump up but I don't think it will um, Bud and Bloom update in Mazzy House now that there's no shows booked things are going mad although the Draculas were going mad before but obviously the Draculas take their time Point perfect in front of you. That's Stavalia. No, Dracula Gigas. Sansina. Um, there are his two spikes around that side. And here are his one, two, three, four, five. And there's another one. No, that's from another plant. Five. So we've got seven. And the longest one is this one. Well, in competition with him next door is Dracula Gigas. So Dracula Gigas is going to win, I think. He has only put two flower spikes up, but I'm amazed he put in an appearance at all because um, it's exactly the same time as last year when he flowered. And he had 12 spikes last year. There's only two because obviously I took him out completely, overhauled him and put him back in a bark mix and he's still flowering. So obviously quite a robust plant, but I do love Gigas. The only thing I wish is that his <laughs> spikes wouldn't grow so tall and head for the roof quite so much. But um, don't knock it as they say, because we get what we're given in this life. And here we have Robledorum next to him. He's done one, he's done two. And there is just in there the makings of the third flower coming out of there. And what have we got over there? Oh look, we've got another one over there. which is a third flower on a vampira, that one. That one spike, that's on its third flower. And what's this one over the back here? Oh, this is still a stuter. This is still a stuter. There you are. A stuter is putting up its second batch of flowers as well flower buds, should I say. Um, this is very nice. I think that's the only one. Oh, here's another one down here. Yep. If I had the right one, it would be helpful. In there, there's a second flower spike coming up. Now, Dracula Arethrochete with his lovely curly um, 
flower spikes. He's on his second lot of flowers. And I think nearly all the spikes have got the second lot apart from one. I don't know though, he's down there, he's hiding around the corner. Nope. He's got one too. So everyone on there is flowering again. And I do believe in there there's a very dry Dac Dracula. Gigas Melon, stand there and I'll sort you in a minute. What's this one? I think this is a giant Chimera, extra big. Doesn't look like he's going to put up another spike. He should. He should do at least four. So he's not happy. Now, over here we have two Cuspersonia species. The pink and white one is bicolour. The red one is a tiny little plant from um, Burnham's, which I got. and believe it or not all those growths died and then last year it started growing again this year it's put up a flower so that makes me happy here that Kirasolii doing his thing obviously very happy in the cold house Dracula radiosa has a new spike there. Has he got another flower on his other spike? I do believe he has, yes. That little crook there. He's got one. Well, he won't have in a minute if you do that. This one died off, this flower spike. So we've got the two, which is nice. Go around there. Now, we have Exasperata with flower spike, and we have Deltoidea with its first flower spikes. Crossing my fingers for those. Here we have Platycrater, which, if you might remember, a couple of months ago had six spikes, which it was growing. Each spike aborted. This is the fifth one to do so. The whole spike goes, it doesn't even flower. This one aborted a spike here, where my finger is, there, and then put out another one. So hopefully that one will flower, because I'd dearly love to see this here. I'm going to zoom in there. I call them his antenna. His eyes are on stalks. I just, Stracula Andrito. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. Because his inside is just so different. Simply gorgeous the lip is just a crazy crazy shape there's another one open there there's a new one to open there this one's not going to put up another spike maybe he's not a sequential flower Vespertilio has got two spikes there so he's Coming on again. What have we got there with a spike? Oh, cutest Buffonis on its first spike. Finally managed to get hold of this last year. Been trying for ages. First spike aborted. Here's the second. Hopefully we will succeed there. Mr. Fussy himself. Dracula Vampira, but looky here, well, let's zoom out shall we, Dracula Hertzii 
He's finally going to open his flowers. The two. I think there's only two spikes. I don't think there's any around there. No, two. Two spikes. There we have a long, long spike from Vampira, which has flowered three times. Can't see yet whether there's a fourth one coming. But what we've got back here, before we get onto the mazzies, we've had a look before at it in this house, Pleurothalid, Pleurothalid, a Lepanthus Inca. And when I showed it last time, it had sequential blooms on. Well, the first lot of blooms, the first one shut after a day and I thought, oh my God, that's all it's gonna do. That's a waste of space. But then it's such a dinky plant and it's putting up second flowers. And now after that first one, the flowers are staying open for a good week, possibly more. So I'm expecting better things from that. You haven't got any flower spikes. Now we've got some um, mazzies. Coming to life. This one's upside down. Because I staked it up like, too late. Tangerine colour. Um, Cassiope. There's a pink version of Cassiope as well. And here we have our lemon version. You can't see the lemon, but if I do that and shade it from the light, you can see that lemon is all the way through. There is no white on that um, flower. It's just too bright out here because all the shading's off. We can actually see what we're doing. That is the um, yellow version of Kimbaliana. Single flower, but first time I flowered it, so I only got it last year. Here we have Geneve Royal, Royale, sorry. Beautiful little hybrid. I love that hybrid. Love it. And here, Janet Halcrow, which is a big plant. She's putting me up one, two, three, four, five so far spikes there's more growing down there she is a hybrid between oh trochilus and coccinia no it's not trochilus and coccinia it's definitely trochilus might not be might not be might be ignea and something Ignore what I'm saying because I'm thinking of another plant. I'll put a pop-up with what the name is, but I love the colour. Again, I love the shape. But again, it's got really long, wispy flower spikes, which I've now staked. Down there, in there, this whole lot, if I zoom out, this whole lot across the back, we had a sort out last week, all along this back shelf repots every single one to be done and what do we have here which i've never known it to flower this time of year and i think it's over avis yep it is is an over avis spike very bizarre in there we've got an old flower and here Hercules Crosscuculata. Hercules is a stunning plant. This has been dropped by snail slugs too. Hercules is a stunning plant. Lovely, thick, leathery leaves. And I wanted to buy it. And they finally had it a couple of years ago, 2019, when they came to um, Equigenera, when they came to Alvin. And then he wanted £150 for it. I said, I don't want it that much. So I bought the next best thing, which was this hybrid which I still like. So, um, yeah, £150 for a Mazda Valia. No, thank you. 
here we've got another it's so dry but it's this one's got its old name on erythrocodon i really like that i really really like it who are you oh you're dean house rachel single flower on that that's a repot that was a split that was another flower coming actually where did i split that august 21 so he's flowering Mazda Valia Sauliae. Tiny little plant with three divot, three leaves, which I'm trying to keep going, which is actually too wet as well. Now, down there, a beauty. Mazda Valia Southern Sun. It's her Hertzii crossed with Viciana, which is where you're getting those gorgeous colours from. And the hairs are down the throat as well, in there. Beautiful colours in there. Beautiful, beautiful colours in there. Now, up there. <sighs> up is down, up is down. There you go. I keep saying to myself, up is down, I might remember it. What's this one? Chiroptera. First time I flowered that. Can't wait for that to open. Well, I can and I have to. But I'd quite like it to get on with it. Fast flowering for me, that one. Oh, and up here, we still have what was supposed to be Karenii. And we don't know what it is. Put out its... First one was there, second, third fourth, fifth, sixth flower. It is stunning. Sixth flower. Look at it. Look at that hump underneath its lip as well. Still can't find out what it is. And then already in the wings near my thumb is the next flower getting ready to come out. Just a Tony eye hasn't got any exasperata down here had oh yes Exas that other one was exasperata dagmar this is exasperata but trey has warned me that his didn't flower true so until it flowers we will not know if it's exasperata we just hope don't leave that there because that's in front of the heater as well. I've got to go in in a minute and put the rolls on for lunch. I just wanted to do this first and see if anything wanted watering out here. Because we're just about done, I think. Oh, no, no. This is a weird one up here. Up is down. No, that's the wrong way. So down. No, no, up is down. That's right. Got it wrong. This is Dracula radiosyndactyla, and it's a natural hybrid. And it's got such a dinky, beautiful. But again, look at the shape of the anther cap. It comes out, it's like a hooked nose at the top. What is a hooked nose? Look, it's right between its eyes. Let's see if we can go in closer. Look at it, right between its eyes. It's like a bird's beak. How fascinating. Whoops, don't slip there. But look how hairy. Tiny, tiny, for the size of the plant. Tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny flowers. But that needs um, splitting and repotting as well. Oh my God, I've still got so much to do. I don't think things are beginning to be happy. Oh, what have we got down here? Oh, look at you. Right, I can tell you now, this is labelled. I bought this because I saw it as striatella. It's labelled as striatella. I can tell you now, that is not striatella. 
before that even flower opens. I bought it because my striatella has gone very, very pale. Still flowering. That's Haruderai. And I would stake money on it. Even the leaves are not right for striatella now that I look at them again. Nice little plant. It's going to have some nice flowers on it. But it's not what I wanted. Here is my striatella. Needs repotting. It's just finished blooming. But it's tight again in this part, so I need to get it back to some sort of good size for next year. Get all the pale yellowing leaves off. Oh, there's even one. They're not open. And um, it's got new, it's got new growth coming. I need to get it out of here and get it repotted before much longer. That'll be one of the first ones I do. Because that puts on a real show when it wants to. Um, and I love it. Right, I do think I, there could be more in amongst this. This is one I want to flower. Look at the size of this plant. Look at the size of this plant. Chasey eye has beautiful lemony flowers, lemony, lemony yellow flowers. No, nope. what does it do? Grow, grow, grow. So it's going to be split, but I am only going to split it into two. I just want to kickstart it because it hasn't done anything for ages. Oh, I missed this, so I need to film it and put it on the video with the updates for the blooms for set October, of course. And it's Dendrobium cuspetsonii zanthina. And I've been growing it in the cool house, but it was a tiny dinky little plant and I mounted it and put it somewhere where I, I water it, but I don't look at it all the time. And when I do check it every couple of weeks, it's a bit more exciting because there's change. And since I last checked it, it's opened this flower. I've got a bit more to opening to do, but um, more white than yellow currently, but that's a, I'll try and get out of the sun. That's a lovely um, off camera, it's a lovely lemon tinge, even though it looks white on my camera. Um, it doesn't go yellow yellow, but it is always got the lemony colour to it and I've been trying to grow one of these for quite a while I got this one 2019 diddy little plant from uh, Equigenera and it took a while to recover but my patience is paying off because these roots are doing nicely and there's only three I think Cuthbert Sony eyes I actually keep in this cool house so um, and you saw the other two filming the other day so uh, yeah all is good all is good because there's our other two Well, it's certainly gigas time. One of the small gigas. Zan Dracula gigas Xanthina equigenera has um, up two spikes. That one. And that one. It's a whole lot happier than the other Gigas was because it's taken much less time for it to flower. Or put up shoots anyway. Still got to get through life without me breaking it. But up there, ordinary Gigas is coming along again. 
It's a few days after I recorded the um, Nasavalia and Dracula Blooms update. So I'll add this in with it. Because he... Well, it'll be interesting to see, as that's an awarded plant, it'll be interesting to see which is the better plant. Oh, I love Gigas. That is going to come out of there once this is flowered. And it's going to go in the moss. It's going to go in the bigger basket and in the moss. So it's quite exciting really, isn't it? I might have to go back to videoing it every few days. Yeah, we have another one that's open since. Which I'll add in there. Oops. Dracula astutum. Small, dainty, but beautifully marked. Can you focus, please? No, you're not doing it, are you? you have it. It's rather nice. I like it. So, right, got to go. Lunch is calling and I need to cook the rolls before I can have lunch. So, um, then I can sort these videos out from yesterday. And hopefully I'm posted today. Well, yes. Hope you're all keeping well. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.